Lindsay, thanks for coming. This looks very unique. Tell us all about it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm very, very excited to be here. So these little tabs that you see, lots of them in front of you, <laughs> obviously didn't end up in my hands overnight. I have been collecting those for about a year and a half. Um, I know you guys might have taken a peek at my social media. I showed you guys the pictures in my interview last time. I collected these for the last year and a half through my pageant title. A couple of Wells Fargo's offices in Charlotte, North Carolina filled up some gallons for me. And we knew we were gonna make something out of it. I've been planning on making swimsuits out of it all along. And when I got this, I was like, perfect, put to the challenge. And what's underneath it, I am a hairstylist and makeup artist. And I go through chemical capes a lot. We get lots of color and bleach, but they're rubber, they're plastic, kind of like trash bags. We just throw them out. And it's just a whole bunch of fabric that could be used for something. Thing. So the base of that is the rubber chemical cape right through the center because the tabs, they tended to collapse in, in the groin area. I had to put some structure to it. So it's actually just got a file folder cut out in, in the shape of a bikini through the bottom to kind of help give it some structure on the inside. So it cannot be worn in the water. If it didn't have the paper, it could be, but the paper in this inside is preventing it from that, but it's giving it that structure. And then I basket weaved all the co can tabs through ribbon. I do a lot of arts and crafts and these spools of ribbon were straight from my arts and crafts box. I've had lots of different colors. You should see my arts and crafts box. It's got every color in the rainbow and all sorts of different things. So everything was pulled from stuff I already own. The cute little buttons that you see on side of the flowers, those are white water bottle caps from our Deer Park water. The flowers that you see are from some old wrapping paper that I had for my friend's birthday last year. Uh, some black and white wrapping paper with stripes. I also had a roll of polka dots and I was kind of on the fence. Did I want stripes or polka dots? But I felt the lines with the stripes and the structure to the eyes was really eye fitting. So I went with the stripes. The flowers are very fragile because it is just wrapping paper. So I make extras. So those might not make it past today, but I've got some backups ready to go to kind of unglue those and glue some new ones down. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I have not counted the tabs, but <laughs> I started to count about halfway through and we were well over 200, 300. Might have to go back. I and was going to ask that question, but I, you just answered it. It's probably I, I kind of lost count after but a I while. But I am curious because, I mean, you've you've done some outfits before, and I've seen some of your Instagrams. But I'm really curious to see how long did it take just to do this, like hours. Truthfully, <laughs> I after we zoomed. Um, because we were not told whether or not we had been selected and I had a very busy day at work that next day I kind of had to put it on the back burner okay. and I waited for that Instagram message the next day And as soon as I got it that evening, I was like, okay, go and I spent day three after you guys announced just sketching I did not start physically putting that together until three days ago That's interesting. Hmm. So I see that you not only made your bathing suit but you've also made accessories with similar um, things. So why was that important for you to have an extra touch to your outfit? Extra. <laughs> extra. <laughs> and it's amazing how just slapping on an earring or slapping on a necklace can take you from zero to hero. And I, even on the shoes, there's just a flower that's bobby pinned onto the shoes. You can take any simple outfit and completely change it with just your accessories. And I always say your big, your best accessory is a smile, but if you can't get the smile, give it some bling, you know? Beautiful. So. Yeah, that's beautiful. beautiful. Thank mm. you so much, Lindsay. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much I appreciate yeah, that's it. Awesome. Cool. Well, hello, Sugar. Thank you for coming. It's good to see you again. I see this beautiful outfit in front of us. Could you tell us more about this? That is mostly a biodegradable swimsuit. Uh, I uh, took a lot of time into that. I took about two days of research, um, scientific research and note taking. Um, I had to learn how to get corn. Uh, it's made out of corn husks, all of it. Um, the rope is made out of corn husks. I weaved it myself. So I really took this challenge as repurposing waste. So, and this is something that is so important too because it's not bad for the environment. You know, I know that we contribute 2.1 billion pounds of trash and the ocean suffers the most from it. And fish eat our material. You know, think about your favorite article of clothing. Your favorite article of clothing, how many times have you worn it? How many years are you gonna have it? You're not gonna have it very long. 
And so when you do decide to give it back to the earth, you know, it should be it should it should be, you know, more of natural based products versus oil based um, polyesters that dominate the market today. That's great. Mm. So I want you to tell me why you decided to create this particular piece. What was that aha moment for you? Well, it, it's it's bad for the waste and environment um, because fish eat it and then we eat the fish and it's and what the aha moment I would say is I thought about um, what's the biggest problems in the world you know definitely gas that's a really big one but after that you know it's our water and after that you know it's our waste a big part of the problem that we have is waste and so this is really trying to make less waste be sitting around the earth degrade faster uh -huh. So definitely a step, uh, Julia, to kind of almost like save the environment. Yes. You know, in, a, in a big, pretty, you know, profound way. Actually, I went, that's absolutely right. I went as far as to, um, I was really inspired by this um, professor. I can't say his name correctly, but he, um, he works for the University of Nebraska and he's a biochemical engineer and uh, fashion designer and what he's learning how to do is extract the fibers from corn husks, mix them with polyester and then um, create actual clothing. So um, I actually went out of my way to uh, make a draft email uh, to him um, to see how I could get um, more involved in his product. and. Actually, what I really wanted to do was use this platform to demand a fashion artist to use more renewable resources instead of oil-based products, because there's no demand. There's a supply for it. Like, you know, he already has everything that he needs, but fashion designers nowadays, there's no demand. We don't demand, in this trending world, we don't, do not demand our trenders to wear clothes that are better for the environment. All right. Beautiful. Well, so basically, corn is really kind of used for many different things. It's used for so many things. I'm Native American and like my, my like, you know, so this is like, this is, this is pretty cool to make. You know, it got me like in touch with my roots. I got to do like a little bit more research into my culture. So that was pretty cool. Okay, Julia, th this looks like a whole production. So the idea, the thought, the process, the design, how long did it take? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I, I worked on it every day um, a little bit, so I would I would say honestly the rope itself um, I could do I could do that like a big long strain to go around here I could do that probably in about an hour um, and then and it gets better the more you do it you know it gets easier and then um, that you know you have to boil it for about four hours and then you blend it and then lay it out to dry or I experimented also I put it in the oven to try to like bring that bring that moisture out and that worked you know but you have to do a very low temperature like 270 um, and that maybe that for about 30 minutes that'll work um, and then you know once you take it out, it's very hard, so you have to spray it with fabric softener and then let that dry, so however long that takes. And I'm dying to God. touch it. Can I touch yeah, it? Yeah, touch it. So, so did you kind of go through like directions how to do all this process, or, I, or you knew how to do it? No, it, I, so it was a lot of trial and error. I, I, um, I made a lot of it. So a bit experimental. Yeah, it was very experimental. Hmm. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to make this come all over. Because I wanted, is, to, I wanted to show that you know, right like this, like this necessarily can't be a piece that you know we could we could sell. However, I want this piece to inspire people to you know demand that we to be like you know corn husks. You know you can use them, and you know if you mix it with you know if you mix it some of it with um, you know you don't even have to mix it with polyester if you want to. I'm sure that this uh, scientist has a way to make it soft, and I'm dying to find out because it's been bothering me. Well, What's the um, that's just insurance. What? Insurance? Like, yeah, like that's, I, you know, I'm like, it's a little flimsy right there, so I'm like. Oh, okay, I got you. She said, so this she said it's insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Very that unique. Really Thank good. you. Thank you so much.
So for me, I really think um, that Chelsea was the was the number one for me. It was very interesting that she had that um, burlap uh, and, and, and her ability to show us the transformation from grocery bag to this. And she had a lot of knowledge about the biodegradable, you know, um, yes. fabric of it. And so she did her research. She put the work into it. Her piece looked beautiful. It's wearable. I could wear it to the beach. Um, so she she makes it up there for me. Of course, there are a few other girls following behind her, but the I colors think that, was... that she used in it too, with the burlap and the red, it, it came already with the bag. But just having it, yeah, look like that was it's very on trend. Really, yeah, it's very on trend. Very on correct. Trend. Yeah, I love. It. She yeah. was my my number two. Okay. Believe it or not, interesting. She is my number two. Oh, so yeah. Chelsea for me was number one. Interesting. Wow, good. Uh, she carries herself well. Yeah. yeah. She's got a strong kind of celebrity Very actress uh, presence. Mm -hmm. And I have to agree with uh, you with the uh, the design. It was totally awesome. Yeah. So I was kind of taken by it. Uh, I just think, uh, in, in my mind, she's number one. I think she wears the, the Eco Challenge ambassador look because um, it's very important that she understood the the history behind and for someone who already believed in that before she even showed up here and she said she had like i think a store or something like that but yeah yeah i i totally agree with what you're saying yeah but wait a minute guys you guys have to talk about alessandra and that denim outfit she made yeah yeah yes Come alessandra on. is number two for sure. You have done deal. Too. She's okay. my number done three. Deal. She was your number She's three. My number no three. She was very beautiful. I don't even I don't even know how she got there because she should be in two, but she she's my number three. You're number three. Yeah. Well, wow. she's our and number denim, two. The way she was able to explain about it, um, I love the aspect of just getting it out of her closet and um, the story she gave behind denim and, and um, the processes that de denim has to go through. So if you're going to recycle something, why not start with the hardest thing, right? So that was good in the bottle covers. And then her posing was like, she was top model. Top she was model, extraordinary. Yeah. She was extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But number two for me, Lindsay. Yeah. Lindsay snuck her way into number two. Okay. And the reason for that was very, very, very spot on when it came to understanding the sustainable aspect yeah. of things. She'd also been working on this for a long time, in a sense, because she's been consistent in that field. So it mm -hmm. looks like this marries well with her, you know, story, her mission, her vision. And then all of that that she put, all those details with the... Lot of that's a lot of detail and it's wearable and I would look at it and I would not know what it's made of I'll be like that's a stunning piece right, right? and I wouldn't know it was something less than than anything else so I, mean, I think I that's that a, in an art place I could see it in an museum. art place art basil put that on a mannequin oh, and, yeah. and call it a day mm -hmm. very talented yeah who would you say is your number three I do have a number three what's your three my number three my dear friend is <laughs> Juliet. Juliet Kelly. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. Sugar? Sugar. Yeah, you've been calling her Julia. That's I actually know. Kind of I'm trying to keep it real straight and, you know, that's her. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. But I, I will call her Sugar because that's what she That's requests. what she calls herself. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, what I liked about her, she was so convincing, like she's going to make a change in the world. Okay. I'm going to take this darn corn husk and I'm gonna just spread it and I'm gonna take the fibers and I'm gonna combine it with polyester right. and right. cotton and blah, blah, blah. She seemed like she had a master plan. Good. She Man. she had she had a master plan, but it's one thing to have a master plan, and it's another thing to be able to execute the master plan. Correct. So she True. did very well. However, we saw what happened towards the end where yeah. she had a little you know, she challenge. Had, she had a discrepancy. She had a challenge with right. her piece, and it's important that you can think about that ahead so that okay. everything is smooth. I loved her idea. I think I loved awesome. her idea I, I as well. I loved the costume itself. The rope was beautiful. Yeah. And again, just the falling apart. The falling apart. Yeah, that, so that was a little rough. That's, that's what killed it for her. Yeah, that yeah. was a little rough. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I could slip out of three and go with somebody else. <laughs> God, now, uh, am I allowed to do this? Yeah, come on. Okay, man. well, I firmly go with uh, Freya. Yes. Freya, let me Freya see. Was wow, wow. Freya was if I, wow. If I, if I had a fourth, Freya would be in there. Yeah, Freya was wow. She is my number three. With my 
we're, we're up there. She's very, sorry, she's ver across. very gorgeous. She's a sweetheart. Um, photographs uh, well. Glow. Her and that were art. Amazing. That art. The art was incredible. That so art. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of reinstate. I'm gonna pick her as number three. Number okay, three. I like that one. Awesome. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Now I want to talk about some of the other girls. Mm -hmm. um, what did you guys think about Carrie? So Carrie, for me, I I I just it wasn't pleasing to my eyes when I okay. saw the when I saw her wear it. Uh, wearability, yes, it worked. It worked as a triangle bikini. However, yeah. the trendy aspect of things was, was just a no-no. It's just like an eyesore even. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to go that far, but yeah. Yeah. You, I don't know. It was just too much for me. Okay. Too, okay. too much rope tying. I'm like, no. But no. his point is pretty solid because Carrie had a strong personality. She did, she but did. But I do agree the personality didn't match the whole it didn't design. Match, no, it didn't match Her the Her personality design. was pretty darn dynamic. It, it, almost, yeah. it almost hid that personality. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay, I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. Um, any other girl that you guys kind of remembered? Um, I was I was thinking of Valerie. I was thinking Valerie, of Valerie. I wish I was... I wish there was someone to cheer her on before she came yes. on. She needed more she was life. First, so yeah, was she was hard. first. Yeah. And so I see the little shyness in shyness. her. Shyness. Which her face, she has. She's gorgeous. Model. She's a yeah. She's yeah. gorgeous. She's like she's a got, supermodel. supermodel. Yes, I, yeah. she's got the Vogue, like a Vogue straight yeah. up and down look. Yeah. You know, hairs in the face. So it's just a, a little, little, a yeah. little, a little more life than she'd have been up there. Yeah, I and agree. her the presentation of her piece. Didn't love it. It was a little weak. Very, very weak. And the positioning when she put on the bathing suit, it was just like one up. It was like a this. Uh, it wasn't symmetrical. Right. And I, I think her presence that. wasn't convincing. Yeah. I wish. I wish there was someone to cheer her on. Maybe her mom or someone that came with her to be like, go. I think right. she would have just needed that push. That little push. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And Let's see who else? Angelique was stunning. Angelique, yeah. she had the um, the toilet the toilet paper paper yes. towels. Yes. <laughs> that was adorable. Yes. The the the, the I would bikini. Have to say maybe number four. The, if that had about. to go in line. Okay. The, the bikini, was... I, it, it wasn't too creative for me, right? But she she was uh, amazing when it came to presence, and she had right. she had the poise, she and had all of that carriage. So she spoke well. very well, and yeah. I, I would buy her product before realizing it's uh, <laughs> it's it's paper towel. Paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> then then one that really really her 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 vibe was just uh, very I don't know this energetic. It, it was a uh, baby baby V. It was oh, it was cute. Yes. It was cute. very cute, and she had all these little labels. It's like it's like you could just put your entire childhood on a on a bikini. McDonald's, <laughs> this one and that one. She had that. That was very interesting, and it fit very well with her personality. It really did. Yeah, it really did. And she built it nicely. So she did. I like some of the designs that came off. Yeah, the side. with the little. I think yeah. it was clever. Like, yeah. like three straps. In fact, straps. even when she turned around, everything was form fitting from the back. Perfect. If you don't mind me adding. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. perfect. Oh yeah, it fit her very well. Yeah, you know, I like those little plastic straps. It was, it was cute. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. I don't remember Sarah Wright, and that's not a good thing. Do you remember who she was? Yes, she was the one with the straw, with the with the uh, palms on them. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. I'm right, surprised right, she right. didn't make it all, all the way up. She yeah. was cute, but it just, you, you know what it was? And the first time in the challenge when we first met, mm -hmm. she walked down that runway. She lost, I, it at, she lost it at the posing part. Exactly. That first she time last, the on, the, on the challenge, part. she walked yeah. down the runway with like a Victoria's Secret model. Yeah, she, just, she would have been my number she three. She owned it. She yeah, owned the she floor. Did, yeah. Mm -hmm. When she it came to that time. posing part, I don't know what happened. She yeah. fizzled out. She, she fizzled out. Now the other out. thing that, that you, now that you brought her up, what stood out to me is her presentation. Presentation was number one for me. Like she, she went up like from the first one, and she came in second. She yeah. went very, very up there with her presentation. It was very yeah. beautiful. Looked yeah. like this bamboo uh, palms, like that, mm -hmm. that sort she of thing. I, so she well. described it very well. I give um, her four for originality. Oh, exactly for originality, for presentation, sustainability. Definitely, mm -hmm. she just fell flat at the model pose part. And yeah. that's I totally agree. Yeah. All right, no, I actually, I was very surprised to see what they actually did in one week. If it was me, I would be all still with glue all over my hands and my face. <laughs> but the creativity that they came up with and the and the ideas and, and the materials, I would never even think of using burlap. I thought burlap would be scratching my life to them. 
but they actually really did a great job. Mm -hmm. Really great job. Totally, I believe so. Um, I, I was shocked because I, I mean, I was like, what are they going to do really <laughs> with something eco-friendly? Something. I mean, like, what will they do? And I was very, very, and that's one thing about about when you're able to go research into, into a subject because I think they really put the work in. They researched, they got the right materials. I heard a girl say she got like 1,000 um, the, the bottle caps to try to yeah. make this work. That That is a lot of intentionality that they put into that. And I, and I was surprised to see, wow, like this is good. Can I I hire you? Can you design? <laughs> you know, that was very good. I, I agree with you. I, I think each one actually had their own vision. That was yeah. so amazing. You know, yeah. just to walk in and say, look, this is what I'm about. This is my vision. This is my design. What do you think? I think it was very bold. It's very bold. Very bold. It's very bold. It definitely has maybe shattered uh, some of the, the uh, what's it called? The stereotypes around mm. models, even, oh, right? Yeah. Because yes. to, to and the, see and the timidness and the shyness, the timidness and the shyness and the non-creativity, or that they don't know too much. All of these women, you know, really brought forth that um, intelligence, brilliance yeah. in in being able to put this together. Um, I was impressed. I am excited to see what's next. Yes, I'm I excited mean, I to see. I have an idea. But I'm really excited to see what's next of with course, these ladies. Of course, of course. I agree. I am so excited for the next step. I have no idea, but I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah, it's it's incredible. If they were able to do this within a week. Oh yeah. What, what do you what's, think they're gonna what's do, next? right? What's next? Well, so only excited. the future will tell. Yes. Only the future will tell. <laughs> I will wait. I'm patient. <laughs>